Well, let me just show you one of my favorite objects in the Smithsonian's collection. It's an iron wedge. Looks very much like a doorstop today, but is used for splitting wood. It's made out of iron, and it has these two initials hammered into the side. Um, and they say AL. How do you possibly prove that this has any connection to Abraham Lincoln? This comes with three affidavits. It was found in a home that once belonged to Mentor Graham. And Mentor Graham is a well-known friend of Abraham Lincoln's in this frontier village. And the workman who found this in 1885 wrote that they found this under the floorboards of this home while working on an addition. They talked to the daughter of Mentor Graham. And Mentor Graham's daughter, in her affidavit, writes this story about how, as a young girl, Abraham Lincoln gave this wedge to her father as he left New Salem to become a lawyer in Springfield, Illinois. And that they'd been working on the house, and the wedge fell under the floorboards, and she hadn't seen it since, but that, yes, indeed, this is the actual wedge that was given. And John Spears according to his story, claims that he was in the blacksmith shop the day that Abraham Lincoln came to have his iron wedge stamped with his initials. Now, partly this is because Abraham Lincoln didn't have a permanent home in New Salem. He was staying with various people and needed his tools marked. And so Lincoln turns to the blacksmith and asks if he would stamp his initials into the side. And the blacksmith, according to John Spears, says, I'm sorry, but I'm no scholar. The blacksmith claims that he's too illiterate to, to put in the initials. And so Lincoln borrows the tools himself and hammers in his own initials into the wedge. What's wonderful about this object is, with a little imagination, you can envision a young Abraham Lincoln living in a frontier town, going into a blacksmith shop. It captures that moment for me. That's what I think is so wonderful about museums. You can look at these everyday objects and with a little bit of research and study and understanding their context, I think it can make history become a little less mythic, a little bit more real and a little bit more tangible.